My entire academic life has been devoted to figuring out tricky ways to get at causality. We kind of say, what if this thing that everybody thinks is so really isn't so? Sounds ridiculous, but you see it all the time, people trying to fight against or build up something that they're sure is connected to something else, in which it turns out just isn't. The closest thing to a worldview in Freakonomics is that incentives matter. And if you can figure out what people's incentives are, you have a good chance of guessing how they're gonna behave. They say money doesn't buy happiness. Wanna bet? between names for white people and names for black people. Maria, Mary, Billy, Becky, Malik, Shamika, Shaquem. You know, Oprah is popular. I don't have to ever have seen a sumo match. I can go in the data and I can tell you that there was rampant cheating going on. When there's an incentive to cheat, a small percentage of people always will. Could students increase their test scores simply by giving them a financial incentive? 50 bucks. You are getting straight A's for me. Yes. We have a crime problem that is out of control. Clear the numbers are dropping. What's not clear is why. The line between, like, economist and criminal is incredibly thin. And what about journalists? No line. <laughs> uh. So cool. We give people permission to challenge conventional wisdom and to ask a different kind of question entirely. Total BS, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah.